The following plays should all be penalized with two minutes. Here, the goaltender grabs the puck with his glove behind the goal net, skates into the crease, causing unnecessary stoppage of play. That's a two minute penalty. Here, the goaltender dives out, ends up behind the goal line covering the puck. No part of his body is in the crease, two minute penalty. Same situation here, goaltender dives behind the net, causes a stoppage of play when no part of his body is in the goal crease. Two minutes. In scene four, same thing happens. The goaltender dashes out of the net, freezes the puck behind the goal line when no part of his body is in the crease. Two minutes. Five and six, you'll see the goaltender freezing the puck behind the goal line again. Both situations, the goaltender had the puck on his stick and caused an unnecessary stoppage behind the goal line. Scene six shows another example. The goaltender has the puck on his stick and then covers the puck behind the goal line. The following examples are all above the goal line. He's at the point, the puck's there, throw it in deep. You use the tag up, the monster out there without a stick and covers up the puck in the circle. Oh, no. And that'll be a delayed game call. That had been yeah. played over to the other so opposite this corner. Gone. Rule states, a goaltender who falls on or gathers the puck into his body in the area between the goal line and the hash marks of the end zone faceoff circles will be assessed a minor penalty unless he's being pressured by opponent and is unable to play the puck safely with his stick. All of these examples are two minute penalties under the new interpretation and new wording of Rule 221. It's important to understand that the goalie, by delaying playing the puck, cannot create a pressure situation. In all of the following examples, including this one, the goaltender would be able to play the puck with his stick. Instead, Alex stopped the play unnecessarily. Under the new interpretation of the rule, these are all two-minute penalties. The new standard of enforcement on Rule 221 encourages goaltenders to keep the puck in play and penalizes them for freezing the puck unnecessarily. If they're able to play the puck safely with their stick, they are obliged to do so. All of these examples you can see the goaltender putting the puck back into play. When the puck is shot in high, forcing them to make a glove save, and they have no time to put the puck back into play because of pressure from the opponent then naturally play will be stopped in a normal manner.